Well, these days, shopping usually starts before the turkey even digests, right? But online shopping is taking precedence to those brick and mortar stores. That's right. Amy Hawley is live now at the Bass Pro Shop in Independence. She's been talking to those holiday shoppers out there. Amy? What does Santa say? You know what? People are not waiting for Friday. They are already starting. I mean, this, these crowds are huge, especially out here at Bass Pro Shop in Independence. And more and more of these shoppers are asking themselves, you know, it's a real toss-up. Do I do my holiday shopping with the click of a button and the warmth of my own home or do I head out to the stores like all these good people that you're seeing here? Well, retailers like Bass Pro Shops know you can't just sell products anymore. The shopper demands an experience. Hi, Santa. As Neil Geisler and his toddler son toasted their plastic marshmallows by the fake fire, he admitted this is about the only time of year he enters the doors of Bass Pro Shops. We don't spend a lot of time here, no. What got him here this holiday season and last was the experience designed specifically for kids. I prefer online. And so do a growing number of shoppers like Neil, who are expected to spend about $80 billion this year online. So retail stores like Bass Pro Shops know if they don't want their sales to go south, you have to go north to the North Pole. Santa and his broadened wonderland will bring in thousands upon thousands and thousands. And then their parents are shopping, so we love that. But yeah, there's a lot of activities going on too. The experience brings in the masses, and while they wait, extra sales. It's why Independent Center Mall is rolling out a big list of new experiences to differentiate the stores from the online experience. We have breakfast with Santa where kids can come out and hang out with Santa. They've rolled out new kiosks and entertainment and new earlier hours for the the first time ever. We normally open up at midnight and this year at 8 o'clock. This is actually one of the um, largest crews that we've had in the couple of years that we've been here. But malls believe no matter how big sales get online, there will always be Christmas cheer for the in-store experience. They want to try on a sweater, they want to see that sparkly ring, and they have the immediate gratification of being able to take that home with them. And there is Santa again. He's having fun. Hi, Santa. You know what? This is not your mom and dad's Santa experience. This is Santa's Wonderland. And Bass Pro Shops absolutely knows this. So they've got to entertain the kids and the parents, the whole shopping experience. So here you can do the toy trains and, of course, lots of kid activities, lots of games. And over here, people are making their Santa wish list. What are you making right here? A reindeer. A reindeer. How much fun is that? And Retail shops know they absolutely have to do this because for many of them, holiday sales make up 40% of what they make the entire year. Live in Independence, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. Thank you, Amy. And to continue that information, last Thanksgiving, the average shopper spent about $423. This year, those sales are expected to go up until Christmas to about 4%.